The DRDO had twice tested the 2000 km range Agni Prime new generation nuclear capable ballistic missile in 2021, during which several key technologies were validated, that will later be adapted for anti ship roles. In a very significant development, the DRDO has now started work on a new Agni Prime anti ship ballistic missile variant, that can sink aircraft carriers and large naval vessels at a range of 2000 km. The canister-launched Agni Prime anti-ship missile will have two maneuverable re-entry vehicle warheads, that will provide anti-access and area denial capabilities to India. The DRDO is also developing a ship-based variant of the missile, that will give it an additional range, and will prevent any attempt of naval blockade using an aircraft carrier group, as well as any naval attempt to attack military and naval facilities. The Indian Air Force's Tejas Mark I light combat aircraft completely enthralled the spectators with mesmerizing performance at the Singapore Air Show 2022, which included a Malaysian delegation. The Tejas Mark I variant with improved avionics and weapons have been offered to the Royal Malaysian Air Force's plan to buy 18 light fighters in 2023 and another 18 units in 2025. Retired military officials have said, that major defense exporters usually have a dedicated department to address the concerns of potential buyers, but India has no such dedicated agency, and the responsibilities are distributed between different departments, so India needs to create a defense exports department similar to Russia's Rosborone export. Pictures of two Chinese-made J-10C fighter jets for Pakistan have appeared in Chinese social media, that will soon be delivered to Pakistan Air Force. A rear view of the aircraft confirms that it is powered by a Chinese-made WS-10B engine, rather than a Russian AL-31F engine used in the J-10A and J-10B variant. National Aerospace Laboratories has confirmed, that manufacturing of two prototypes of high-altitude platform station is currently underway, that will demonstrate flight at 3 km altitude, while the full-scale prototype would demonstrate flight at 20 km and will have an endurance of 6 months. This NAL project is independent and different from the CATS Infinity pseudo-satellite of Hindustan Aeronautics. The HAPS will be ready by mid-2025, to carry out tasks such as surveillance, earth observation, geo-information and climate research. The Army Chiefs of India and Saudi Arabia held significant discussions yesterday, and both sides have decided to explore defense industrial collaborations and procurements, especially that are feasible with the Indian industry to meet requirements of the Royal Saudi Land Forces. India is also in discussions with Saudi Arabia to export the BrahMos supersonic cruise missiles, and the Royal Saudi Land Forces commander was also briefed by the Army Design Bureau on indigenous military systems such as missiles, drones, counter-drone systems, helicopters, light specialist vehicles and radio systems. The Indian Navy will host its biggest maritime exercise Milan 2022 from 26 February, and interestingly, the exercise will also include anti-submarine warfare drills for the first time, which comes amid the growing presence of the Chinese Navy in the Indian Ocean region. Out of the 46 invited countries, 35 countries have confirmed participation, out of which 15 countries are expected to send their ships and submarines, while 20 countries will send a delegation. The Indian Space Research Organization plans to test out its reusable launch vehicle technology demonstrator in the next few months. The first test will be a landing experiment, in which the vehicle will be released from a helicopter from 5 km altitude, and the vehicle will then glide towards a runway for autonomous landing. After validating the software and landing gear, ISRO will then start the orbital reentry experiment. Oh,